Previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Uh, uh. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> You know, nothing means more to me than this game. The bond we share, it's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> What did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is... A good idea. Kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. <laughs> So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. All right, sounds like a plan, John. 
I feel bad for him most of the time. He is constantly catching flack from Arthur for some reason or another. Wagons that could be stolen for John a blip with a wagon icon. Alright, let's open up the map. See what we're working with. So there's two sitting pretty right here in the refinery. However, that place is guarded up the wazoo. So the way I'm thinking is I have one of two ways in which I can go about doing this. One, I could roll up in there, grab a wagon and try to run it out the gates. However, that would put me at risk of getting shot to shit and by proxy blown to Kingdom Come. And I'd much rather not go to Kingdom Come because it sounds sticky. Option two would be to wait for either one of those to hit the open road, ride up alongside it with my horse, jump on it, dispatch the driver, then be on my merry little way. No one's the wiser, and we have the most important part of this operation in our hands. But we're going to have to see what opportunity arises first. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Dutch. You lazy sack of shit. I see that Micah has a main story mission for us, which I'm not too concerned with doing right away. I don't want to be bothered with him anytime soon. Charles, however, seems to have a hunting mission for us. So the way I'm thinking is... I do what Charles wants to get done, and with the amount of time it'll take to finish this, one of those wagons should be out in the open, and I can go grab that as soon as I'm ready. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Hey, I'm always up for learning new tricks, especially when it comes to big game. Mount up then. Let's go. I've come across plenty of bison, but I never had much incentive to want to hunt them. Because I'm so inadequately equipped to take one down efficiently, that the pelt would just come out poor quality. It'd be a waste. You know, it was before my time, of course, but... My mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. So the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> Well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. If I remember correctly, the bison were nearly hunted to extinction back in these days as well. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Alright, let me get up my bow. Charles, I don't know how effective I'm going to be at this. I only have regular arrows. A clean headshot isn't going to be enough to break down one of these big bastards. Listen to him, though. God, it's like rolling thunder on the plains. Alright, I'm going to say you. Let's go after this one. He broke from the pack. He deviated. He's a deviant. He's the bison droid sent by wildlife. Right there in the head. There's one. Come on, come on, gimme, give gimme. Give There's another one. I think three or four should do it. There we go. Beautiful. Nice clean shot. Well done. Alright. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns too. It can all be used. Was a mighty beast. And it has been felled. God, look at this big meaty bastard. Have any of you guys ever had bison meat? It's really delicious. Very clean, too. Not a lot of places serve it, though. Good job. Store that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. A few friends of mine and I went to Connecticut one year out in uh, Hartford, Connecticut, and um, there's a restaurant that sold bison burgers. I introduced them to the meat, and they absolutely loved it. Okay, let's go. 
Come on, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted them. I don't know why you'd be concerned with some birds. Probably just feasting on an animal carcass. Or some unlucky fool that wandered out here. But if you think it's important, let's check it out. Oh, fuck! No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. That's so wasteful! Been dead a couple of days, at least. Looks like we're dealing with some poacher scum. Only out here hunting for sport, with no intentions of using parts of the animals for resources. Bastards! Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Because they're idiots. With no concern on what the land provides. No respect. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Charles, look at that hand to you. You got some sharp eyes, because that just appeared out of nowhere. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Let's see if we got any clues. Maybe they left something behind to tell us who they are or where they went. It doesn't look like there's much, but... A trail at least would be nice. Chewing tobacco, some moonshine, can't take none of that. I can inspect the campfire, but I just want to give it a thorough search. Got some apricots. Anything else? No? Alright, check the campfire. Cinders are still warm, which means it's not that old. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. You got it. I don't like this any more than you. Come on, Charles. We going to what? This way. We should have a good view from up here. I hate people that kill unwantingly. Anything? There's a plume of smoke out there in the distance. You see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. For the look. All right. Let's go. Killing unwantingly and wastefully. It's the worst way to go about dealing with animal populations. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. And which in my case when you need money. But I never leave the carcasses behind. That's like a rule for me in this game. I always bring the carcasses to sell, even if they're poor quality. God damn, how many did they kill? These assholes. Alright, Charles. I know you're angry, but don't go in there guns blazing. Not without me anyway. Because I got plenty of guns that need blazing. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. That's racist. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? God it's damn! No business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. You got a family. Those bison had a family. Did you ever think of that? No, because you're selfish. What the hell are you doing? Beating you senseless. Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. Wrong answer. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. Gladly. I've heard enough. 
Oh, just crushed his throat. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Can I take his bear okay. hat? I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> I got a bear hat. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, problem is, I don't know if I can keep it, though. Aw, oh, man. As cool as it would be, I'm going to stick with my original hat. I can always get the one made by the trapper from the legendary bear skin that I got way back when. Poison throw a knife pamphlet. I found me a new recipe. Need a throw a knife and oleander sage plant. That's simple enough. Well, look at that, boys. Not only was it your deaths, but some new things came out of this for me. Another new hat? Does this one get stored? You found a special hat. Yeah, so when they glow, that means as soon as I pick them up, they get stored on my horse. Kind of sucks that that bear hat wasn't like that, though. I want my hat, though. Mine's better. It's got feathers in it. All right, anything else worth taking? It's in this little tin box. Horse survivor. Build up on that. Take that bread chunk. Boys don't mind, do you? Doesn't look like you'll be needing to eat anytime soon. Or ever. Alright, what about over here? A single ear of corn? I'll take it. Prop that over a fire, have some roasted corn on the cob? Sure. Delicious. And nothing in that pile there. Alright, I guess we're done here. Come on, girl. We did a good deed today. The bison have been avenged. Now, let's check the map and see if my theory held true. So there's one still at the station, and there's another one heading into Valentine. Okay, so I can either wait for this to hit the road again, or I can run into Valentine and snatch it from underneath whoever's driving it. I think I might end up doing that just to get this done with. Because God knows how long he's going to stay in town before he comes back out into the open. And I'm also not sure how this mission's going to go, because it seems like it's being done in parts. So we won't be able to move on to the next stage unless I either get this wagon or I have to wait for John to be done getting the additional supplies that we need. Which I'm kind of curious as to why we sent him out to get these to begin with, because I have plenty of guns, I have plenty of ammunition, I have a few sticks of dynamite. Pretty much got everything we need. Just had to bring some guys along. Some added muscle. But, I mean, hey. It was John's idea, but it seems like Arthur's the one dealing with the logistics. Which I would much prefer anyway. I like John, but he's a few fries short of a Happy Meal, if you catch my drift. My little black wagon. I ain't giving you nothing. No. You don't deserve it. God, they crashed it right into the barn. Alright, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Alright, so there's the driver. I'm gonna wait for these folks to pass. This is gonna be dangerous. It is a nice morning to be a robin, folk. Let's see here. I wonder. All right, they're off in the distance. I got a guy coming here. You know what? I want to use... I want to use my tomahawk. How... 
far do you think I'd have to be? Uh, nope, that didn't work. Is he none the wiser? He's none the wiser. Oh shit, no he's not. Come here. Oh, you bastard. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. That's what you get. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh no. Back it up. Back it up. How do I back up? I don't know how to back up. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How? That's not what I want to do. Put the gun away. I don't know how to back up the damn thing. <laughs> I'm gone, motherfuckers. You ain't catching me. No one was the wiser. Oh my god, I ran up. I beat that dude to death. The wagon got stuck in the awning, but it took me a minute to remember the controls on how to back up a wagon. It's just hold R1. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out. But I wanted to wait a little bit before doing anything to make sure that I was in the clear. No one investigated that murder at all. I'm so shocked. This is amazing. This is probably the easiest heist I've ever done. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, these wagons really don't want to pick up speed. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. God, they turn on a dime, though. Alright. Come on. Let's roll you nice and easy right here. Look at that. Didn't get shot at. Didn't get investigated. Didn't get chased. Hell yeah, man. That was beautiful. Oh, that wasn't a gold rating. That's a disappointment. I can't remember if I explored over here or not in my time. I think I might have. Let's just double check. Let's see what's down here. Uh, yeah, I was already in here. Okay. Just had to make sure. It's a big country. I've been to many places. And I've seen many faces. And I've rocked them all. But this still secrets abound. So, now that that's all done... I guess we just go back to camp and talk to John. Let's just get this underway then. No point in delaying. No point in dilly dallying. What the hell is shooting over here? Hey, you. Are you gonna give me the chance to redeem myself or what? Oh, it's you. I know I got to be this time. Let's put some money on it, huh? What do you say? All right. You're on there, buddy. Let me just get my gun out. Fine by me, friend. Fine by me. Good. Okay, let's do this. You know how this goes. The one who shoots the most bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right? <laughs> Shoot! Haha, <laughs> yes! Oh, come on! And after all that practice... Not enough, I guess. That was just a one-off, man. A fluke. Let's go again. With real money. I thought we were going with real money, but hey, 30 bucks, Come sure. On. Right, Could win real it. big. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. Just like before, mi amigo. You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, you win. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be All right. Patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot. And come on, give me. There we go. There's. <laughs> God, that one's gonna get obliterated. There we are. To shoot, okay? Uh, 
It is this, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> see? Sure. <sighs> Better watch on next time. You'll see. That's a double appreciation. You should feel honored. And we will see. I'll see more of your money in my hand. Seems like all that practicing did you no good. I mean, I've proven, what, twice already that I am the fastest gun in the West? Fastest hand in these lands? But, I mean, if you want to keep challenging me, I'll be more than happy to keep taking your money, cabron. Well, looks like Javier's got something. Alright. Rob a homestead? Sure, let's do this before we do John's thing, then, I guess. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. Kind of a house. I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... Said it was really... Freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but... There ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north. On the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure. More or less. I've been over in that area. More than once. All right, Abby, lead the way. Yeah. How much harm could this be? Nice. I love that it's just going to bring me right there. I don't have to worry about doing any of the traveling. I was about to swing around on my horse and grab my guns, but forgot I had them on my back already. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? It looks like we're dealing with a bunch of wackos. Big place, right? That's all you're going to say about it? Alright, take out my binoculars. You got your binoculars? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. It's a large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All right, you're the one that brought me in on this job, so you take the lead. My whole plan would just, just to be to run in and blow faces off. You want to take a more stealthy approach, sure. I can get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Unless they hear us talking. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. What kind of voices? Gotta be more specific, so I know what we're dealing with. Hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you hunted 
Three of them, huh? Four. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can only get all the now day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt. <laughs> what the hell? You need to pull it up, boy. Huh? Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much. But... Go guard the shed was the only actual sentence that came out of their mouth. What are you doing out here? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet. You be quiet. Shut the hell up. Like I said, I'm just gonna go guns blazing. Oh, I'm not behind the right rock? Seriously? What difference does it make? I wanna go back over to this one. Oh, he lit a fire! That'll definitely get their attention. Oh, swiggity swooty! They're flaming up my booty! What the hickory happened here? <laughs> I love the way they talk, to be honest. We got to put this out, don't you? What the didgeridoo happened in the back of your head? <laughs> Woo, bye bye. You ain't flaggering nothing. Oh god, I didn't want to jump over the fence. Come on. Woo, bye bye. Alright, seriously, stop. Alright, enough of this. I'll get closer. Why did it give me my Springfield? I had my shotgun equipped. I don't like that this game is doing this to me. Come on. Pop back out. Oh, that's it. Woo! Oh, ho, ho, God, she got obliterated. Get her done. Where are we looking? Under here? Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. So let's push it out of the way. Hey Arthur. Give me a hand here. I was going to, come on. Push. Push it real good. Money. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. <coughs> Arthur, why are you coughing? Hope it's just dust. Well, the aftermath of a gunfight. Breaking and entering. Look at that. Where is there's the ladder? I'm gonna go on up here and loot this Mary Sue. Think she could stay up here shooting at me? What you got on you, girl? Give me your loot. Got 
some more ammo. Nice. And a chest. Anything good in here? More money. Hell yeah. <gasps> a money stack. 50 bucks. Large jewelry bag. Oh, cash money. I love it. All right, John. Let's get this train job underway. So I found a new gun in that house. It was a pump-action shotgun. Cleaned it up all nice and good. Gonna eventually head to a gun shop so I can spruce it up, make it look pretty. And I gotta hand it to Javier. His information was on point with that little job. Walked away with some nice money. Got a new gun. Murdered some folk. Let a couple on fire. Accidentally, because, you know, when I shot them, they fell into the blaze, but that's on them for being stupid and standing too close to it. Hello, Hosea. Dutch, shut the hell up. Yeah, life is pretty good for you because you're not doing anything. We're out in the world getting shot at. And being in danger of dying. All right, John, we ready for this thing? John, let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor John, man. Cut him some slack. He did good. He did good. Oh, so I guess we can't do this just yet, huh? What you doing, greaser? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just playing with my knife. She fucker. Just playing with my knife. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, you drunken fool. Damn, Bill. Oh, I can't antagonize him. I pushed the button. It didn't do nothing. I was going to rub some salt in his wound. All right, Abigail, what you got? Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. <laughs> Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. Poor John! Man, whoa, where did she go? She's a banshee! I knew it! I knew there was something about her! That's why she's always giving John a hard time. She's always on his ass about nothing. Or everything. She's an evil spirit. Dutch. How's it going? We got ghosts and goblins on our mitts. Well, still alive. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Me too. Hey, Jack. What you doing? What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Gonna go fishing with the boy. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Come on, Jack. Look at that rod. That's a mighty fine piece of equipment if I ever saw one. Just shove that in my horse's butt, that's fine. Alright. Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. 
There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. <laughs> Jack's so innocent. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. All right, you got it. All right. Come on, girl. Give the boy what he wants. You can go faster than this. I'm not too sure I really want to with you on. Come on, faster. This is as fast as she's going, Jack. I'm pushing the button. She don't want to go any faster. See, she's shaking her head. It's a nice spot. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Stay close, Jack. I don't want anything happening to you. Right here. See the yellow mark on the map? I can't wait to get started. Alright. Sweet. Finally get to do some fishing. First, we need some bait. Alright, we got some cheese bait. Nope. We got no bait. We got bread bait. Corn bait. Guess I'm going to use some cheese. I'm going to use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line, swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. So then R2 to pull back, and then release. Mighty fine cast. Like that? There you go, Jack. That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Oh, there we go. Got one, Jack. Ah, oh, he's a little one. Caught ourselves a fish, though. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Yeah, he's only 13 ounces. Back you go. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. We just started. You want to take a break? Brought you all the way out here to show you a good time. Ungrateful. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. You see that cast, Jack? <laughs> he clearly does not care. Come on. Oh, got him. There. Fighting there, Jack. That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. He's you not here. Out first before you try to reel him in. <laughs> he doesn't so give a damn. A rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Ooh, he's a big one. That's a rock bass. This one's a small mouth bass. A small mouth. Five pounds, you know what? I'm gonna keep him. Sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. 
But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? Sure. I guess. Huh. It instills patience and discipline. Oh, I know. There we go. Maybe. Not giving up much of a fight. Nah, it's a little one. He's dinky. That's a rock bass. Only one pound. Yeah, throw him back. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. Who the hell are you? And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. Damn! $5,000? Turn myself in? For me? Gonna turn myself in. <laughs> That's exactly. Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Well, that ain't what you heard, it's what you're hearing. Oh, ain't that a little old fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. Hey, don't talk to me or my not son ever again. Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. Man, seriously just rolled up in here with a gun while I got a kid with me. No consideration. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Assholes coming here, ruining our fishing trip. Yes, I'm taking you back, Jack. Don't give me no yakety yak. There's so many things that rhyme with your name. It's funny. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> like I said, it instills discipline and patience. 
And then you get that rush of adrenaline when you get a good bite. And then the fight ensues. And you haul that catch in. It's a mighty fine feeling. I haven't gone fishing in quite a long time. I miss it. Abigail, we're back. There you are. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. I bet Arthur would make a good dad. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um... Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. You say so, Dutch. I mean, they know we're near here, but I'd rather them not know where we are at all. <sighs> I don't quite like it. Why is, uh... Jack, why are you popping up as an icon? Oh, is it because I got a book for him? Hey, Jack, come here. Stop walking away from me. Jack. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Me too. Uh, don't worry about them, okay? Jack, where you going? Come here, I gotta get a book. Alright, well, I should be getting on. Don't go near that ledge. What are you... Are you peeing? No, you're not peeing. Okay, never mind. You're just sitting here being weird. Here! I can smell you. Hey! <laughs> That's rude! I don't stink! That's my natural musk! You'll develop your own when you get older. Oh, not a thank you for that book at all. Strauss, I don't really like you all too much either. Oh god, now they're all talking about it. Why don't you shut the hell up? I got things to go do. Which is something you should be doing. God, 90% of the time, you people are all sitting on your asses while I'm out in the world, making sure we got money. So I give the boy a book, and he gives me a chocolate bar in return. I mean, he can't go out and make his own money, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Alright, now... Let us go see John about getting this train done. And I think that should be a good stopping point for this episode. We'll see. You know, I was actually thinking about what Dutch said. How the Pinkertons are trying to scare us into doing something stupid. And he may be right about that. If people start going into a panic, we could easily slip up and they know exactly where we are. So, he does make a good point where he says we just need to remain calm, stick with doing what we're doing, and not worry much about them being in the area, because they don't know exactly where we are and what we're doing. Sean, what are you doing and why are you here? Shit. <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. 
I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? How's that? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Great. Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. Ah, I was going to say, I hope to God we're not doing this in the middle of the day. Hey. Wake up, you lazy son. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. I am? It's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Mm. Sean, you better not screw this up. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. When they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. It picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... It shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, say, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards roads. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. <laughs> I don't know why it just slowed down at that point. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. You shoot your mouth, you get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We're close, Marston. We're at the railroad. 
Just carry on a bit further. All right, you got it. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. Nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. There we go. I figure no point in going fast. Let the dialogue play out. Don't want to miss anything important or funny. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, come. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. There goes nothing. Or everything. That is a cool shot. Nothing good. Nothing <laughs> good. I love it. Now I know that scene was a reference from an old West movie, but I can't remember the name of it. Make that quick and join us on there. Hey, all right, get on that train. Foster. All you own, Captain. Go on ahead. You got it. Can I get on the train? There we are. Sit your ass down. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. No, please. Take your necklaces. Take your rings. Take your wedding rings. I'll take your wedding cake. I know you got leftovers. Give it to me. It's scrumptious and delicious. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Absolutely. What's the problem here? Please don't tell me. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay, okay, in the bag, everything you got. I'll rob you. Thank you. You two seem to think we're playing games. Yeah, rob, mister. Give me everything you got. You got nothing? You got nothing. Give me what you got! Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Yeah. Let's just do what he says. Let me point at you again. I will start opening fire on folk. Come on, I know you got more. Thank you. Oh, you want to be tough too? Anyone else, huh? Oh, sweet. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. Probably something in here, Arthur. Oh shit! Oh! Try to get a headshot. Aimed a little too high. Whew! Not that time, though. There we are. Come on, Sean. That was sloppy. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother. Can't loot none of these guys, huh? There's twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> it was funny, actually. All right, let's see how rich these folk are. Ooh, money clip. You ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. 
Just keep your eyes Ooh, peeled. jewelry. A gold pocket no, watch. What's worrying? Come on, we should get out of here. We'll take that. Ooh, more jewelry. Platinum pocket watch? Hell yeah. I'm not done yet. Anything else I missed? Uh, I can't loot these guys. Hold on, there was something down here. Oh, Mr. Cabinet. Well, I'll take another money clip. Some more jewelry? Can't take that cigar, though. What else we got? Anything useful over here? Arthur, we've got a problem. What now? Two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to turn enough. Ah, shit. Damn my big mouth. Okay. Murphy's Law. Let's deal with them. Um, I kind of don't Five want. Ten. Whoop! Shit. Whoop! Where? What way? That way? This way? Oh, this way. Whoo! Long shot! How do you like me now? Oh, right between the trees. Damn, I'm good. Woo, bye-bye. Enough out of you. Enough out of you. Oh, I shot your hat off. And... Oh, nice. Let's go. Come on, girl. Hold on, before we do anything, give me my better gun. Let's go. Stay with me. Alright, let's just ride. Doesn't matter where. Not that way. Not that way. Come on. Let's go, boys. Keep up. Whoa. Whoa. Ho -ho. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Got to be $100 here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Damn, fifteen hundred dollars, and my share was one eighty-seven. I still want to know where the camp share goes. It's like so much of that money should be getting deposited right into that box at camp, but it doesn't. Where does all this money go? I don't understand. Yep. What you want, little coyote? You don't want none of this. <gasps> Look at the rainbow. It's a double rainbow. What does it mean? All right, now, the only thing left to do, as far as I can tell, is Micah. But there's also a bounty poster out in Strawberry. And I paid off my fine there, so I can go get in and out of that town, no problem. So, again, Micah can just fuck off. I ain't bothering with him one bit. I'm going to go do that bounty on my own and try to do a little bit of unwinding after that massive train job, because... That got a bit hairy towards the end. And there was a massive skip in the foot of shoe because it figures, right as I'm about to cross the bridge and get out of the reach of the law, my capture card decides to screw up on me. 
that's why I had a halt and make sure everyone was behind me and things were running smoothly like they should be, but... Ah, damn. This is getting good. This is getting good. I'm loving it. Love this game to pieces. God, the weather in this game is absolutely amazing. I love how it just changes on the fly, too. You see the clouds roll in. They get darker if it's thunderstorms. This game is absolutely amazing. I'm sorry if I'm gushing for a little bit towards the end of the episode here. Just wanted to kind of get these thoughts across. I'm not going to lie, though. This really is deserving for a Game of the Year award. But I am really glad that God of War took it home. And I feel like the main reason why it won was because it was out a lot longer than this. God of War came out in May of 2018. This came out in October. So God of War had a lot more time to reciprocate with fans. And to pull in new fans as well. Because for a lot of people, they said they were interested in playing the game simply because of how it looked. But it was also their first God of War title. And that really means something. And it's like with this title as well, with Red Dead, for me personally, this is my first Red Dead title. I knew of the first installment for the longest time, but I never really thought I'd have an interest in wanting to play it. But after this, I'd love to play the first game. Even if it's been out for, what, about 10 years? Maybe 8 years, 9 years, somewhere along those lines? This game is amazing. I just love the way it looks. Look at that light shine off the back of my horse's butt. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I love it. All right. Enough rambling for me. I'm going to pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then thrust your mouse upon that like button. Keep playing it awesome, and I'll see you all on my next adventure.